Be long before all those credit card bills start rolling in for your holiday spending, which makes it the perfect time to get your finances in check. We spoke with financial specialist Dr. Stephanie Yates for some tips that should catch your interest and might even earn you some interest as well. It's all part of getting a great start to the new year and helping you make a positive move towards a new you in 2022. The new year is a great time to get your financial house in order because for a lot of us, it's partly psychological because you think about the new year, fresh start, doing things differently, um, you know, new year, new you, all those kinds of things. And so our personal finance house can be part of that fresh start in the new year. There are a lot of folks who don't put together a budget and kind of live live um, by the seat of their pants, so to speak. Um, and then there are others who create a budget, but then because it's so rigid, they end up not following it. And so they're, they're not much better off than someone who doesn't have a budget at all. These days, especially for younger people, it may make more sense to think and think in terms of broader categories or bigger buckets, meaning what is it that I absolutely have to spend money on, you know, uh, housing expenses, transportation expenses, and so on. What are the things that are the nice to haves? And then how much am I going to save? You know, so the 50, 30, 20 budget, we typically call it, focuses on wants, needs, and savings. The fact that you don't have any money right now is not necessarily a good excuse not to save, but it's certainly a common one. So setting a smaller, more realistic goal and maybe even gamifying it where they say, OK, I'm going to save, I'm, I'm going to do the 52 week savings challenge where I save a dollar the first week, two dollars the second week and so on. And that's kind of fun and may keep your interest and make you try a little harder to reach the goal. There are two reasons why I see um, personal finance issues being intimidating to a lot of folks. Number one, the underlying issue is math and numbers. And so a lot of us just don't like math. That intimidation and that feeling of being left out and not included in the markets is very real for some people, but there is a solution and that solution is learning more. So however you can or feel most comfortable receiving your financial education, that's something that you should absolutely focus on and invest in because it's an investment in you and your family and your future. And that's very important and that's very valuable. Well, another suggestion when it comes to saving money, uh, get yourself out of the equation, direct a portion of your paycheck to auto deposit into a savings account. In that case, you are more likely to just forget about it. Most importantly, leave it alone. Mm. Don't touch it. Mm. Don't buy $500 hair dryers. Okay, Joe. Do we want to put people on blast right now, really? <laughs> I'm kidding. We've all made mistakes. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs>